highest 1%. Joining me now is Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Senator, I want to take you, take you to my vulture chart right away here. The chart that we show a lot, the top 2%, their income over the last 30 years has gone through the roof, over 300%. The middle class, of course, is the blue line. That's how much the middle class has moved forward in this country over the last 30 years. So when people on the radio ask me, well, what's fair? There's your definition of fairness right there. Your thoughts, Senator. Well, Ed, I think the average American understands that the middle class in our country today is collapsing. They see poverty increasing, but they also know that the wealthiest people are doing phenomenally well. A study just came out, and if you can believe it, this is really unbelievable. Between 2009 and 2010, 93 percent of all new income went to the top 1 percent, and 99 percent of the people shared 7%. You have the 400 wealthiest people in this country owning more wealth than the bottom half of America, 150 million Americans. And then on top of that, the effective tax rate for the very rich is the lowest that it has been in decades, where, as you've just shown us, you have billionaires paying yeah. a lower effective tax rates than teachers and Firefighters. I kind of viewed the Buffett rule as a start, really, as a start. Exactly. To, to, I mean, you think we should have gone further? Absolutely. Look, here is what worries me very much, Ed. If we don't turn this around, we are going to lose the democratic foundations that have made this country the nation that it is, and we are going to move very rapidly, which is where we're going right now, into an oligarchic form of society where a handful of people on the top control not only the economics of the nation, they control the politics as well. Well, I because think when you're looking at 72 percent of the American people want something and the Congress doesn't deliver, what does that tell you? That tells you that our Republican friends are in the pocket of big money interests. And they understand, by the way, and this should also concern us, that with Citizens United Supreme Court decision, these billionaires are pumping huge amounts of money into the political process yeah. so that they can become even wealthier. Senator, Republicans love to talk about the percentage of Americans who pay no federal income taxes. What they want to do is they want to take blood out of a rock is what they want to do. They want the working poor to ante up. What's your response to these folks that say, well, gosh, the everybody's got to pay? The response is, you're quite right. Median family income has gone down precipitously in the last 10 years. We've lost millions of good-paying jobs. You have the top 1% now earning more income than the bottom 50%. You have millions and millions of people today, Ed, who are struggling to pay their mortgage or rent, to buy food, to put gas in the car. Yeah. You know what? They are, by the way, they are paying federal taxes in terms of FICA taxes. But you, you're quite right. You can't get blow, yeah. blood out of a stone when the middle class is shrinking. Well, uh, how are these guys going to go home, or, or the, these people that vote against what the American people want, go home and tell their constituents, you know, we've got to do more for the wealthy? For the life of me, I don't know how they're going to get reelected. That's another subject. Senator, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much.